In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the solemnity of Our Lady Help of Christians, patroness of Australia. Um, yesterday at the Masses throughout the country, our bishops entrusted our country um, to Mary. And we continue that act of entrustment in this Mass on this um, feast day. We entrust our lives, our prayers, our hopes, our worries, all to Mary, our Mother. So brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendour of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the, the highest, highest, and on, on earth, earth peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we praise, praise you, we bless you, you we adore you, you we glorify you. you. We give we you thanks, thanks for your great glory, Lord God, God Heavenly King, King O God, God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of, Son of the Father, Father you take, take away the sins of the world, of the world. have mercy on us. You take, take away the sins of the world, of the world. receive our, our prayer. prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. <clears throat> so we pause to again call to mind all our prayers, our needs, our thanksgiving, all that we bring to this Mass. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who placed the love of Our Lady help of Christians in the hearts of those who brought the Catholic faith to these shores, grant through her intercession wisdom to our leaders and integrity to our citizens, so that under her protection, Australia may know harmony, justice and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. Wisdom brings up her own sons and cares for those who seek her. Whoever loves her loves life. Those who wait on her early will be filled with happiness. Whoever holds her close will inherit honour. And wherever he walks, the Lord will bless him. Those who serve her minister to the Holy One, and the Lord loves those who love her. Whoever obeys her judges aright, and whoever pays attention to her dwells secure. If he trusts himself to her, he will inherit her, and his descendants will remain in possession of her. For though she takes him at first through winding ways, bringing fear and faintness on him, plaguing him with her discipline until she can trust him, and testing him with her ordeals. In the end, she will lead him back to the straight road and reveal her secrets to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed, Blessed be, be the, the name, name of, of the Lord, Lord forever. forever. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed both now and forevermore. Blessed be the name, name of, of the Lord, Lord forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praised be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne? 
yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth. Blessed be the, the name, name of the Lord forever. forever. From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from the dung heap he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes, yes, the princes of his people. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. The second reading is a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. The language of the cross may be illogical to those who are not on the way to salvation, but those of us who are on the way see it as God's power to save. As scripture says, I shall destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to nothing all the learning of the learned. Where are the philosophers now? Where are the scribes? Where are any of our thinkers today? Do you see now how God has shown up the foolishness of human wisdom? If it was God's wisdom that human wisdom should not know God, if it was God wanted to save those who have faith through the foolishness of the message that we preach. And so, while the Jews demand miracles and the Greeks look for wisdom, here are we preaching a crucified Christ. To the Jews, an obstacle that they cannot get over. To the pagans, madness. But to those who have been called, whether they are Jews or Greeks, a Christ who is the power and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Gospel Acclamation. Happy are you, O Blessed Virgin Mary. Without dying, you won the martyr's crown beside the cross of the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. John's Gospel focuses our gaze on Christ as King. He is revealed as King even before Pilate. His glory, his kingship is revealed most fully on the cross. He reigns as King from the cross. And it is as king reigning from the cross that he creates, he brings about the church. We see the church, the seeds of the church, the beginning of the church in Mary and the beloved disciple. He gives them to each other to be companions, to be with each other. This is the beginning of the church. And then just before he dies, he breathes down his spirit upon them. So this is a moment of glory and of revelation. So at the heart of the church is Mary. Mary, the first disciple. In John's Gospel, she's revealed as the first one to hear, to trust in the word of Christ. She's the first disciple and the beloved disciple. This is the church. Mary is given to the church as a mother. She is our mother. And she has continued and always continues to mother, to be a mother for the disciples of her son. Mothers are doing people. They are helping people. Mothers are always working, always helping. And it never seems to stop. And so it is the case with Mary. She is always helping 
mothering us who are her children with tender love. Some people have had the idea that you know, Mary persuades God to do the good for us, but that's not the, heart, the, Christ, the Catholic vision. The Catholic vision is that God's love and his greatness and his tenderness is so great that he wants to share his joy with us. So he shares the joy of ministering to us, of saving us, of helping us with his mother. She shares in his joy by praying for us, interceding for us, being a mother to us. And he wants us to share in his joy the love he has for his people. He wants us to share in the love and the joy he has in Mary, the woman who is the mother of Jesus. So today, that's the, that's the feast we celebrate that love and joy which overflows from God through Mary and our love for Mary, who is our mother, a faithful mother, a loving mother, who is ever the help of God's children. So now we profess our faith and we'll use the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful presented in commemoration of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, Donald, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are and yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Refreshed by this heavenly sacrament, Lord God, we pray for Australia, our earthly home, that with the help of the Virgin Mary, we may become a new creation in Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. So as I said yesterday, the bishops entrusted our country to Mary, help of Christians. We can make that prayer, that entrustment our own. We entrust Mary all our communities, our families, all our needs, our concerns, our worries, and our whole country. So I invite you to join in this um, act of entrustment today. O oh, Immaculate Mary, Mary, help, help of, of Christians, Christians, Queen, Queen of, of Heaven and Earth, and tender, tender Mother of Humanity, at, at this time when the pandemic threatens all your children, we entrust, entrust to you our, our nation, Australia, Australia and all who live, live in this country. country. We, we commit to your intercession, intercession all the members of our community, community beginning with the weakest ones, from the unborn to the sick, sick the disabled, disabled and the elderly. We commit, commit to you our families, now young and old, and all who are vulnerable, vulnerable those who are quarantined or anxious. We entrust to your immaculate heart those who have lost their livelihood or employment, our pastors and other essential service workers, and our, and our leaders, leaders at, at this time. time. We implore, implore your intercession, your especially for the, for the protection of doctors and nurses and those, and those who minister to the contagious sick in this crisis. Reign over us, Mother, Mother of God, and teach us how to make the heart of Jesus reign and triumph in us and around us as it has reigned and triumphed in you.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.